This week from the 12th until the 18th, UCSC campus elections will be underway. Students from every college are competing for various positions in the campus's formal student union assembly. Additionally, various measures are on the table for students to vote on that would start taking effect during the next school year. The three measures this year affect various aspects of student life. Each fee that is up for adoption will be charged per student per quarter, not a blanket charge per year, and will begin in the fall of this year. Additionally, 33% of the revenue associated with each with each proposal will fund a return to aid component that aims to help students who pay fees with financial aid. First off, Measure 61 deals with the issues of student health care on an expanding campus. The measure seeks to increase student fees by $110 in an attempt to provide physical and mental health services for all undergraduate students. The fee will generate an additional $4.9 million next year. The fee level is not capped and can increase up to 5% a year if the Student Health Advisory Committee feels it needs additional funds to pay for campus-wide health care. The fund would provide money for additional staff, reducing wait times for appointments and in the pharmacy. The Student Fee Advisory Committee unanimously supports this decision, decision arguing that it is equitable to provide students with health services to facilitate a more healthy environment for the entire student body. Second, Measure 62 is a proposal to fund UCSC's intercollegiate athletic programs by implementing a $117 fee. It will raise $5.2 million annually from student fees, but enrolled students will be provided free admission to all athletic events. The largest expense categories associated with this fee are salaries and benefits for coaches and support staff, followed by travel, uniforms, and new equipment. The increase in travel and lodging expenses will allow the students co to compete with schools that have more resources and different training opportunities, according to the athletic department, and will put the Santa Cruz sports teams on more even footing with the various schools in Division Three that have additional resources to fund expensive travel accommodations. The Student Fee Advisory Committee does not officially support this fee due to annual inflationary increases, potentially making the fee much more costly in the future. Lastly, Measure 63 adds an additional fee of $5.36 per student towards the learning support services. The program already has a fee of $6.64 per quarter originally passed in the spring of 2007, making the new potential charges for support of learning support services $12 per quarter. The programs fund different groups and individual tutoring sessions that reach over 5,800 undergraduate students according to the measure's background information component. A majority of the new funds will be spent on the salaries of the different UCSC student tutors and will add 150 new tutoring positions. Learning Support Services argues that they need the new funding to ensure there are enough tutoring sessions to meet up with increased student demand. The Student Fee Advisory Committee has no official stance on this measure. According to the bill's summary points, quote, the committee has some concerns regarding the proposed fee increase, including the use of student funding for a resource that should be funded by the university. Flyers posted in various nooks all around campus serve as a constant reminder to the student body to get out and vote. As of spring 2014, the Student Union Assembly raised the voting threshold, requiring 25% of the student body to vote for a certain measure's results to be able to pass. But on top of that 25%, 66% of the voters need to vote yes for the measure to pass. Last year, out of 14,663 potential voters, only 3,646 students voted, a voter turnout of only 24.87%, according to the Dean of Students' official election results. This means that various measures, like the expansion of the s &E Library's weekday hours, or further funding for the learning support services were not able to come into effect despite the fact that a majority of the people who did vote decided with both of these proposals. As a way to protest the voter apathy, the Student Elections Commission has worked to present information at a wider variety of locations and put on more debates that allow the various students running for positions a larger opportunity to get their ideas across. There's no way to see if their efforts paid off until after the elections when students find out if any of the measures achieve the necessary threshold to be taken into effect. No matter what or who you decide to vote for, just remember to log on to elections.ucsc.edu and vote this week. 
I'm Callie J. Mora with Banana Slug News. Thank you for watching.